at the map of Africa? Where, where is this place anyway, Hans? Where know. is this? Oh, that one. <laughs> Holy cow. Glad you know where you're going. Dude, you have the map. Okay. Uh, we go this way, Hans. No, Ooh. this way, Hans. Perfect. Well, Cyborg, what is the plan? There is no plan, like there is no limit. We just ride and ride and ride a little more. And ride and eat. And uh, how about if we hunt a little? Yeah, let's let's eat and hunt and spew. Yeah, hunt uh, and spew. Hunt and you? <laughs> hunt and spew. That's the plan. Now we got it. It's about time we get to Derby.
sure is cool when you're dropping in out there and you, you think you're gonna make it, and then sometimes you think you don't, you're gonna make it, and you're sketching out, and then you just like, whoosh, you pop through out the bottom, and you're just pretty much in heaven. Hey, let's get some food. Good food? Good food or healthy food? Good, healthy food. in the food. Oh. Beauty day. Okay. Party and bonus. Let's do it a while. Okay. Uh, Easy, pal. All right. Dude, are we going to ride or are just going to mess around? Yeah. Okay. Really, rabbit tricks are for kids. How do we get my back here? Let me do some jumps. Let me do some twirlies. Come on, move over, dude. Done, Nothing done, to fear done, but fear done, itself, done, dude. Done. Some fear, man. I ride for some fear. The land no. of roost. Well, let's go. Okay. Wait, wait, my back, dude. Come on, <laughs> you dork. Okay. Are you ready or what? Do it, I'm born ready. As if. <laughs>
Quit your whining. HB, I'm in pain. You shouldn't have ate six cheeseburgers, dude. Uh, I don't feel too good myself. It's been a long time since I felt that bad. Yeah, I think the last time I felt like that bad was the last cross country I did, man. It was like the full hurl fest. But Hans, I got just the thing for us. Uncle Peppy. Oh, mm. man. <laughs> You're mm. sick. Give me a beer or two. Savory. Look out, Reese. All right, go, go. Yeah, you know, cross country is pretty cool, but downhill's where it's at, dude. Trials is where it's at, dude. No That's way. real stuff. Trials is for geeks. Hippity hoppity, off the rocks, you know, whatever. Downhill, dude, it's just you and the mountain. Dude, it's not hippity hoppity over the rocks. That was me when you used to ride. Yeah. Being out there and accomplishing stuff. You against the obstacles. You are the conqueror. Yeah, but dude, in the downhill... You know William the Conqueror? He used to be a trials rider. Billy could never shred, dude. Dude, when you're in the downhill, it's like you get one chance, it's all or nothing. I mean, you got to put all your effort in there all at once. Go, 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 fight, fight. Do <laughs> you like uh, doing trials with all those people around? Yeah, you know, you don't think about it, you know, you just block out, you know. <laughs> downhill, dude, that's a man sport. Dude. You ride down there, it's cool. Both is cool, I think. Yeah, riding alone is cool. Being alone is cool. <laughs>
Sure is sweet out here, Hans. Yeah, life is tough. Mountains, flowers, the twinky little river. You pretty much got it made, dude. Yeah, I'm stoked to be here, but then again, you know, now I have as much fun riding downtown LA than I have out here. I mean, of course, it's a killer countryside here, but hey, the bottom line is you can ride everywhere, you can have fun everywhere. And that's what it's all about. Yeah, shredding the urban jungle is kind of fun. Good for the homies. Good for all the bros. What if the whole planet would be paved? Now we're here in the center of Ecuador today, trying to survive the traffic. Woo -hoo! It's probably more crazy than most of the things I've done riding on glaciers or volcanoes, but it's a lot of fun. The people here really like it, I think. We in they stoke. the hammer the wrong way on. So that's what it's all about. Fun. <laughs>
Yeah, I like to take the mountain biking beyond the competition scene, into the cities, do urban stuff, crazy stuff, fun stuff. Just have fun to it. Show people who never saw mountain biking before what it's all about. I must look like an alien or so, but they're totally nice. I dig it. We got all kinds of groupies here. All right, I got two groupies. Silent. I'm here with Manuel, and he's kind of laid down for me to dance over him. He never seen me riding, so you're a little bit crazy, huh? He doesn't See? <laughs> Laying down, you never saw me riding? No, okay, let's do it. <laughs> yeah, I think he's done that before. Oh yeah, like Arnold has his war mobile. I just purchased mine. A little bit older issue, but it works. But he's everywhere. I don't know what to say. Well, I went into this building and I pressed for the elevator. The elevator came down. I got in. Two guys got in behind me. I didn't know they were security guards. They were carrying around someone's payroll. Right. Right. So I pressed six. All of a sudden, the elevator stopped on the third floor. Right. And I, I stared square into a double barrel sawed off shotgun. Wow. So it was a ripoff. But uh, after they took the payroll from them guys, they reached in my pocket and stole my little pittance that I had. <laughs> All I had was like a buck and a half on me, and they stole took that too. Stole your last dollar fifty. They hmm. stole that too, <laughs> and then handcuffed everybody in the elevator and pushed twelve, so we'd go all the way upstairs while they got away. Clean, perfect. Isn't that a trip? <laughs> Hundred miles, hundred miles per day. That's 
pretty much average. Sometimes I do a little bit more if I go into Central Park and ride around a little bit before I go home. Weather doesn't bother me. I ride four, four seasons a year. Rain, uh, snow, ice, everything. It doesn't matter. I should imagine that we're certainly a subculture. And during the day, we just get into everybody's lives, everybody's hair. Um, we're a pain. We get cursed. Bloody dispatch riders again. Um, carving and stopping where he wants, doing U-turns where he wants. It's, it's a way of life that, uh, that suits me. Um, uh, I've hit a few pedestrians, usually tourists. They step out from behind buses and vans, always look the wrong way.
What if the whole world was paved?
afternoon, but those of you who came back from lunch to find yeah, let's go. Go. the races here. Hey, let's go it's check out the races. I want to see some dude suffering. I want to see some. Those yeah. I don't know what we need to do is we need to find out where the real we carnage areas are, bro. Gunshot wounds after you guys sell him some swag or what? Come on, give us some freebies. Oh, 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 oh. No, 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 let's come on, let's check it out, dude. Forget it, dude, this is mine. Dude, no this, way, man. Yeah, come friend. on, dude, this bear's getting... You can getting, tell me any secrets. This bear's getting warm. I'm not telling you nothing for nobody, Dude, that feels like a full suspension frame. <laughs> it's so light, it can fit in here. <laughs> let's go. You know what the coolest thing about this is? We get paid for this. We don't need pit passes. <laughs> That's right. What's next? Ringland. I don't know, Ooh. there must be some smart free yeah. stuff around here somewhere. Oh, that's John Tomek. Hey, he, hey. Looks, he looks much bigger in the pictures. He looks bigger in the pictures, man. Did you shrink or something? See, he's shy. It must be John Tomek. Oh, yeah. Let's go. <laughs> Dude, we should check out the races. Yeah, let's, let's see those guys sweating. No, we want to see him aching. We want to see him burning. <laughs> <laughs> All right, bro. This looks like a killer spot right here. This is nice and flat. How about this? <laughs> yeah. No, man, this is a race course. We can't go here. You sure? I don't yeah. think so. Hey, let's go in this K here. The race there. No, over here. How about right here? This look good? All yeah, right. this will work. Dude, this is a killer spot here. We can see the whole town. We can see the babes. I just want to see some people start hurting. and finish. I want to see some well, crashes. Is still messing with I want to see some climbing. I want to see some suffering. <laughs> Stay healthy and avoid injury. Announcement plan to restrict the use of certain prescription pain medication as a way of. Dude, we haven't seen any good suffering expense. yet. Well, let's just wait a couple more laps. Hey, I need some sunscreen. Do you have any? Dude, if I get sunburned, it's your fault. This looks easy, man. Go, go for go. it! Get air! Launch it! Uh-oh. Problems. Uh-oh. Back, back on. Hans, I think you should grow your hair out and start racing women's pro cross country. Isn't that funny when you can make excuses while you're riding? I was in the lead, and then I went over the bars. HP, how come you, you don't race anymore cross country? Yeah, well, Hans, I used to race cross country all the time, you know, and I did a circuit race one time here at Top of Vale Mountain. I was third place about halfway through. Next thing I know, I tossed my cookies. <laughs> I was on the side of the trail, hoovering, and I just decided this is for the birds, man. Dude, she is smoking. There she goes. Factory honcho. She's ripping, dude. I'd be a little worried about your salary, Hans. <laughs> the way she wins. You're lucky she doesn't do tricks. Dude, I did a cross country race once. I rode my bike to 7 Eleven and back. <laughs> no fee phone on the way there. I was, I was hurting, man. But after a hot dog and a Slurpee, you were ready for the return voyage? Return to the weather. A freak summer ice storm has dozens of motorists caught in a pileup that officials say will take hours to untangle. This is boring, dude. Let's go do some training around the downhill, man. The all gone. This makes a guy fat and old anyway. Hans, I've had enough of this cross-country excitement. Yeah, that was a small field. That was more trial for riders here this weekend. Let's go do the real race. Let's yeah. go up to the downhill. Let's Giant do it. it we out of here. We're out of here. Standards and systems will be adopted, and whether government negotiations are going to increase. Even if you had to pay six bucks for a box of cereals. <laughs> yeah. People were shredding out there, though. Not a shred fest, but definitely some cool moments. 
cool moment. Yeah. Punch it, it's being. Disgusting, but overall, a pretty sweet course, huh, Hansi? Are you ready, HP? All we have to do is sign in. Do you know where we're supposed to go? Right this way, pal. That's good. Okay, ladies, we're now a little less than 30 seconds to start. You know where sign up is? What class are you in? Vet beginner? Pros, dude. Pro, dude. Pros. Factory pros, bro. Oh, sorry. Well, uh, yeah, you gotta go up around that big mongoose vo box van. Yeah. And then between the two inflated beer bottles, the ones that are open, and then over to the left, and a little more to the middle. On the left side? No, well, right of the middle, but between the two lefts. The left? In the middle of the left. Ah, oh, right. Okay. Right. So but to the left. Right. Always think left. Right. Yeah. All right. Okay. Left. Thanks, bro. Okay. Cool. Thanks, dude. Good luck. You think that guy's a racer? I think that guy's a geek. Go! There they go! Let's hear it, Mammoth Mountain, our and, pro expert man. And what a world-class feel leaving here, going out for three Some... He said, way up around the left to the middle. What's up with that guy? Tato coming. 
she is a great performance for her. The very popular Suzuki Mate for the Diamondback got right a second place in a World Cup today. Finally, maybe we can go ride the Kamikaze game. All right, we ride in line here. All right. Got time, huh? Hi. Hi. Hey, hello. Is this sign in here? No. What? What is it? Hey, this is the line for the oh, ladies' bathroom, room. man. We don't know where you're going. Come on. Hey, sign in's over there. Sign in's oh, over there, man. you guys. You losers. Right. You sure? Thanks, man. Pause How about that kamikaze? Woo, that thing is rad. Man, that was sweet. So fast, I couldn't believe it. It's probably the only place you can lose your skin that fast, too. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I saw a lot, of, a lot of bacon out there on people's arms and legs. Oh, yeah. Raspberry pie. Hey, Hans, I forgot to tell you, dude. I think I finally found a sunglass sponsor for you. Cool. Yeah. Dude, let me see. 
Okay, look in there. See, see the... if those will work for you. I think oh, it's good. Cool. You're ninja, dude. I like it. I like it. Nah. Oh. Maybe not. Dude. What about these ones? Let's see. Hi, Yoko. You look good. Nah. Might as well wear these ones here. <laughs> we could probably get you a good deal on that. <laughs> what else you got there? Must here? be something in there, Hans. Yeah, dude, these look good. What? All right. Styling. Sun clouds, dude. Those might work, bro. Rock and roll. Dude, we hit it. Man, I'm gonna be a one haste puppy by the time this trip is over. Haste? What means that? Kannst du das noch in Deutsch übersetzen, du alter Sauerkrautkopf? Hey, no, haste. You know haste. Hey, I know. Remember the envelope? The envelope? Yeah, where is that thing anyway? Dude, you never showed it. me that thing. Here, stare for me. Don't go right, off the let road. Let me see this. Right. It's back here. Somewhere. Dude, let me see that thing. Okay, here it is. What's in there? A book. Not just any book. Purple's pal. Instant Language Dictionary. <laughs> they say yeah. never touch a book by its cover. Inspirational editor Herbold has destroyed the English language. Quoted Zapata Espinosa. See if hey. you can find haste in there, dude. Hey. Then you'll yeah, know what we're go. talking about. A point of maximum and mental physical exhaustion. 
Yes. Dehydration and dizziness resulting from overindulgence in activities requiring straining of all muscle groups. I like what you've done there. Hmm, coupled with extensive respiratory output and uncanny mental keenness. <coughs> now you know. Haste. Be in the know about haste. I think haste your brain though. is haste. Hey, you know what's cool about the bicycle? It's the most thermodynamically efficient transportation device ever created. The bicycle lets you travel three times as far on a plate full of calories as you could walk. And it's 53 times more energy efficient comparing food calories with gasoline calories than the typical car. What our world needs is more bicycles. What is it with this license plate? Uh, Augerin? Augerin? You don't know what it means? Augerin? I, sh I think I probably do. Let, let me let me let me give you a little lesson. Actually, I'm gonna add it to your language. Huh? Well, I don't thing. know. Let me, let me. Okay. I'm gonna actually. You can add one word. I'm gonna add it. Make sure you to put it under or, a. To Augur. I have to be now a co-editor of this book. <laughs> to Augur. Full contact with local geology. Okay. Resulting in a divot or permanent scar <laughs> in that geology and the body part coming in contact with that geology ah, area. I understand. You got that now? So it's kind of like, yeah, eat it or... Uh, stash it, crash it, bear, ah, slam. Stash it, yeah, end it, ah, yeah. crash, ouch Wait. it. Ouch it? Ouch it. <laughs> ouch it means like if you lose about a pound of skin, break five ribs. Oh, kind of like, kind of like you did at uh, Hunter Mountain when you did a major full speed out chip. Exactly, I felt like a raw chicken before no. a barbecue.
Yeah, there's the US a... Army test center. No, 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 just watch. We're gonna go this way. Launch it. Through here. Through the water. We'll probably stop there and rest. Any uphill there? We gotta pedal all the way up to here, Hans. And this is the goal. And then, dropping in. Rip. Cliffs, launchers, all the way back here. Back across. And here. Bub City, bro. Pub, not Bub. Oh yeah, Bub City. <laughs> Beers. Cervezas. Face. Beers. So are you ready for the final assault? Uh, do you, you mean the ultimate riding sesh? Riding on the rocks? Yeah. And off the cliffs? Yeah. And in the sand? Yeah. Like on the beach? Like girls on the beach. Yes! Yeah, there we go. Girls on the beach. We you get to ride with mountain biking. It's <laughs> unbelievable. It's like joining a sorority. Yeah. We just think that mountain biking is for everybody, sissies included. So if you're not if you're not that brave or you think that it's a really gnarly sport, it can be, but sometimes you gotta suffer, you know, like this. But it's okay. <laughs> yeah. And we're not telling you where this beach is. Strike a pose. Yes. <laughs> I'm like sorority, aren't we girls? Oh my god! Can I help you out? Your hair doesn't look so good. If my hair looks like yours, kill me. <laughs> Hi, mom. That'll make it in. <laughs> Did you lose your valve cap or are you studying geology now? Now I'm studying geology and this rock is either metaphoric, ignoranus, or sedentary, dude. It's sedentary, like you. Let's go.
Why do I do downhill? Because it's, it's like an adrenaline fix, you know? It's just the, the buzz you get from it. I enjoy the speed and internal change, a little extra the adrenaline and prototype. the challenge of downhill. Of course, for the thrill and the victory, the speed, the excitement, the bumps, the jumps, everything. It's a good feeling to know that you've beat the odds, that that time you made it, and maybe next time you won't. Nobody wants to crash, and, you know. But uh, it happens to everybody. Eventually, you know, you're going to crash, and hopefully your crash, you know, won't be one that's, that's really bad. I mean, I've seen this guy many a time strapped to a backboard with a thing around my neck, just going, God, what am I doing here? You know, I just got to stop crashing. That's what I keep telling myself. I don't tell myself to go slower. I just got to tell myself to stop crashing. But sometimes you can't control the circumstances, and, you know, that's, there's always danger, especially in, in a sport like this. If you ride smooth and you ride smart and you don't ride over your head, then you shouldn't crash. When you're standing at the top of the course and you're really scared, I think, and then as soon as they say go, you forget everything and it's just pure adrenaline. And when you get to the bottom, just that feeling of going down a mountain as fast as you can and making it is just a buzz. You crash, you get up, it's like, well, you know, that was fun. But some crashes you don't walk away from. Over 46 nations are here, making this the largest mountain bike world championships we have ever had. It was a pretty ugly day yesterday, and you know, you can, everyone has the same uh, conditions and the same equipment, so you just kind of have to try to keep the best attitude you can. You don't make light of this situation, but there is a lot of stress here. It feels more than a World Cup or a national event, even though it's still the same people we race against. Uh, I think there's a little bit more of a feeling of unity amongst all of us, the whole team. Everybody still wants to vie for one of those medal spots, but at the same time, if myself or one of the other girls doesn't do it, I, can, I think it's safe to say that we still would want somebody from the U.S. you know, getting a medal. 
I think camaraderie ship and the team in foreign country like where we are right now is uh, is always greater. So it, it's good to be in a big, you know, to be part of the national team and and uh, helps keep our spirits high in ugly conditions like we're going to have.
Buy only modifications for today were two pairs of wool socks, top secret Snickers, in my Snicker holster. This is rad, man. The fear of embarrassment, coupled with real fear. Right. <laughs> Speed is sweet. It's like an avenue to Shredtopia. Sometimes wonder why I get in these situations, Hans. Dude, it almost looked right over from the bottom. So how are we gonna get down here? Bungee. Free fall? Let's ride. Right. 